Uh, all in all, things went really well today. Uh, we're very uh, happy about the prospects that have uh, signed with us uh, and have committed to us. Uh, you know, I know it's a very exciting day for all of them as well, uh, their coaches, their, their families, their support networks. So it's just a, a really special day. And yeah, we have uh, one, one prospect who's uh, snowed in at a, a retreat right now, a religious retreat. So hopefully no uh, dog sleds intercept him and, you know, convince him to go somewhere else. But I think uh, hopefully tomorrow that will be, be our 19th signing. I think when, when prospects came to campus and actually got a chance to interface with our players, uh, there were no guarantees, but I think they could sense that, uh, you know, we were going to get back up on our feet and, and uh, have a positive season. So I think we were able to overcome that once the process got going. It may have kept some people away from us. That, that's uh, entirely possible, but I don't think it was a big deterrent once they got, got, got going. Yeah, you know, we start out every season with a certain idea of what we were trying to do in terms of needs, fulfill needs. Uh, but this year we probably signed more DBs than maybe we would have anticipated or set out to do. And, and recruiting is a pretty fluid thing. So if you have good players that are uh, still interested in you and you really uh, like them, you know, sometimes you'll, you'll bend or uh, expand the, what you thought were your needs and maybe sign over sign in an area and then you know, we'll make up for that later on. But I feel like we have a chance to have a good football team next year. And I know uh, we've lost some really good players in, in that area. So it's just uh, we wanted to add to the competition. Those three linebackers, was that another emphasis of getting some linebacker depth? You guys got a few of them as well. It was. You know, having three seniors, there's good news and bad news there. And then the other other factor there uh, at that position, we've we've lost a couple players over the last year or two through to uh, medical redshirt. So, you know, kind of behind the scenes, that, that number was growing uh, besides the obvious three guys that we had that were seniors. And uh, the four guys that we've got signed, we really think are good football players. They remind us of the kind of guys that we've played with in the past. And... Uh, you know, the key for them is to continue to develop and, and uh, you know, get on that. And hopefully we're going to be a little – that will help our depth there because we, we were pretty lean at that position. It's, it's really going to be true for all the guys uh, that are in this class, uh, be it the scholarship guys or the walk-ons that are joining us. It's really what they do once they get here because uh, I, I really feel confident, based on what I know, all of them have the requisite uh, abilities to be very good players for us. And, you know, it's, re it's really how, how hard they want to push and – uh, you know, how hard they want to compete here the next four or five years. Surprised that you got some of those kids from the East Coast to commit before they even set foot on campus? Yeah, I was. I was not surprised and worried, you know. And uh, now the way things have evolved, I feel great. You know, you, you know Jay became a, uh, a phenom in our office about three years ago. I think it was his sophomore year. It was a game on TV or our guys had a film back there. But all of a sudden, like, he became a legend in, in an hour uh, just with all the, the guys in the back there. And, uh, you know, pretty soon everybody's peeking at that tape and, so we've known about Jay for quite a, quite a while. Uh, you know, we're just really excited about him. He's a tremendous young guy, great personality, great family. And, uh, you know, we, we think, you know, he'll be a really dynamic player for us. Our intention is to play him at receiver. But, uh, you know, who knows what we'll do with him uh, in other other ways. But uh, to get the hand, ball in his hands will be as, you know, if we're smart coaches, we'll figure out a way to do that.